you how to create a Google My Maps and import a spreadsheet uh, such as the uh, country's uh, basic information uh, into My Maps to create the first layer of your continent map of um, whatever continent we we're studying at the time. So I'm going to tell you, um, usually we'll have a link to My Maps in the uh, Google Classroom assignment. But if you ever need to, you just probably the easiest way to find it is just Google My Maps. And then usually right here at the top, uh, Google My Maps uh, comes up and just click on it. Now, chances are you probably haven't done any maps, so this probably will be blank. So what you want to do is go up to this orange box up here to the left that says plus create a new map and then click on it. All right. So once you've done that, the first thing we want to do is we want to give this map a title. And so since Europe is the first continent we are studying, and that's the one you've been working on, as far as collecting data, we're just going to put Europe. And then we're going to click Save. All right, so now that we have our map um, labeled properly, we're going to go ahead and we're going to create that first layer by importing a spreadsheet, uh, the spreadsheet that you've been working on. So we got untitled layer and we're going to click on that and we're going to give it a name. Let's call it countries. All right, so we're going to save that. So now we have our countries layer. So the first layer we're going to uh, create, the countries layer, we're going to import the uh, spreadsheet of the European countries that you've been working on. So we're going to click on import and then we're going to choose a file to import. So uh, you can either have recent, which will probably be uh, where your spreadsheet uh, is at since you've been working on it and not probably not much else or find it where you have it on my drive. Okay, so here is the spreadsheet that I want to um, sh uh, import into my maps. So I'm going to select it. Now, uh, this spreadsheet is a bit different than the one you've been working on, but it has some of the same characteristics. It does have a country name and it has capital. All right, so the first thing that's going to happen is going to ask you to choose the columns to position your place marks. Okay, so think of it as the pins that you would put on a map uh, to not signify a place on the map. So we want our pins to be placed on the capital city. So when you first get to the, the first uh, question, you want to go capital. And then we're going to go continue. All right, next says choose a column to title the markers. Now this is what the markers are actually going to be called. And in this case, we want them to be called by the country name as such. And then we're going to click finish. Now if you've done your spreadsheet correctly, you're going to see all these marks. Okay, they will probably all be in Europe since that's the first continent. But every continent you'll be working on, you'll see all the countries marked by or where located where the capital cities are. So we're going to look at this one. Uh, this is the United Kingdom. I'm going to slide that over a little bit. And as you can see, the pen is on London, but the title is United Kingdom. And it gives the information that was in the spreadsheet here that I had created. So it is United Kingdom, the capital is London. There's the rest of the information uh, that we want. And there we have it. So once you have done this, you have created your first layer, the countries layer, in Google My Maps for Europe. And this is how you will do it for each continent as we go through the course this year. If you have any questions, Please ask your teacher.